So what SimpliVity developed basically is a new IT infrastructure architecture that runs on commodity server resources underneath any hypervisor that is chosen. And the SimpliVity product basically offers all the functionality that otherwise you would need 8 to 12 different products in order to deliver. So basically if you think about the infrastructure stack as it's called today, it's comprised of servers running virtualization and then potentially a storage switch and then potentially highly available storage and then appliances such as deduplication for backup, when optimization, uh, cloud gateway, SSD array, uh, SSD caching, maybe software applications to protect VMs or to mobilize VMs, maybe a backup application. So basically today customers have to buy 8 to 12 different products in order to deliver the IT infrastructure stack. What SimpliVity does in the form of a product named OmniCube is we deliver all that functionality, all the associated performance and capacity in these atomic IT building blocks, which are 2U appliances that can scale up and out. Up, you can add as many OmniCubes within a given data center. Out, you can add as many OmniCubes in any data centers anywhere in the world, including running a virtual OmniCube on EC2. So basically what we've delivered is a new, simplified, easy to manage, low cost, low labor type of infrastructure that allows a single administrator who doesn't need to be trained if she knows uh, VMware to run a global IT infrastructure very economically. Basically the OmniCube or OmniCube systems that you buy live in harmony with your existing infrastructure. If you're a large company, typically you need to refresh your technology once every three and four years. And if you're that large company that basically you also continue to grow according to statistics by 30% per year, which means that every year you need to add more IT resources. The OmniCube technology, the OmniCube product can be part or all of that 30% annual growth or refresh cycle. And it lives in harmony with your existing technology. Specifically, if you have virtual machines that run on existing servers, those servers can connect into the OmniCube either as a means for migrating data from other storage systems and other VMs onto the OmniCubes, or those servers can continue running virtual machines and the OmniCube Federation, as we call it, is going to serve data stores to those servers. So basically you add OmniCubes into your environment, it connects to your servers, you can run your virtual machines on the servers and benefit from the OmniCube. So it's an add-on uh, capability. That said, we have deployed OmniCubes in cases whereby the customer said this is more efficient instead of worrying about my investment from last year, I just want to be more efficient. I want one person to manage the whole environment and we have seen people put OmniCubes in replacement of existing gear. They don't have to do that, they can do that. So business is going faster than we expected, period. And it's also going faster than we expected in uh, Europe. And I ask myself, uh, how is that possible? I have never seen anything like it in my professional career. And I attribute that to two factors. The first factor does not depend on us. And that is, I think that there's hunger and there is anticipation among enterprise customers for a new architecture. They look at Google, they look at Amazon, and they ask, why, cannot, why can I not run as efficiently as we think Amazon and Google are running? And in order to do that, they understand that they need to run on near commodity hardware with a very sophisticated stack. So that's one factor. I think that there is receptivity and there's hunger for new solutions in the enterprise. The second factor is that we deliver the solution that addresses that problem. Because what we say to the very large companies and we tell them, if you want to run on commodity server resources with a very sophisticated stack under any hypervisor, we've delivered that. And that sounds unbelievable, but one customers, uh, once customers uh, speak with references or they test the system, it's uh, apparently uh, very compelling and I've seen adoption at a pace that I have not seen in my professional career, including very large enterprises. So that is when we speak with very large companies and as you know, T-Systems is one example. Uh, it is a huge and very sophisticated uh, enterprise. At the same time, when we go to smaller customers, smaller enterprises, 
Basically, we give them functionality that today they cannot afford to buy, they cannot afford to train people on, and they cannot afford to manage from various panes of glass. So we basically do um, what Clayton Christensen referred to when he talked about disruptive technologies. We offer functionality of a Fortune 100 company into a small enterprise that with one person has all the functionality including connectivity to EC2, etc. So uh, great adoption and some of that adoption has occurred in Europe earlier than we anticipated and we're addressing it. Exciting times.